The rhythmic chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo has long been a cornerstone of Nichiren Buddhist practice. This powerful mantra, believed to encapsulate the essence of the Lotus Sutra, has been credited with profound effects on practitioners' mental health and well being. But how exactly does this chanting practice influence our minds and emotions? Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Japanese Buddhist priest who established this practice, wrote, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? This bold statement suggests a strong connection between the act of chanting and improved health, both mental and physical. But to understand this connection, we must delve deeper into the practice and its effects. At its core, the chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is a form of meditation. Like other meditative practices, it encourages focus and mindfulness, drawing the practitioner's attention away from the constant chatter of daily thoughts and worries. This shift in focus alone can have significant benefits for mental health, reducing stress and anxiety. Dr. Masahiro Mori, a renowned Buddhist scholar, explains, when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we are tapping into the fundamental rhythm of the universe. This alignment can bring about a sense of peace and harmony within ourselves. This idea of aligning with a universal rhythm speaks to the calming effect many practitioners report experiencing during and after chanting sessions. The repetitive nature of the chant also plays a crucial role in its impact on mental health. Psychologists have long recognized the soothing effect of repetitive actions or sounds on the human mind. When we repeat a phrase or action, it can create a trance-like state, allowing the mind to relax and let go of stressful thoughts. In the case of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, this repetition is combined with a focus on the meaning behind the words, adding an extra layer of mindfulness to the practice. Nichiren himself emphasized the importance of understanding the meaning behind the chant. He wrote, The voice does the Buddha's work. This suggests that the act of chanting is not merely about the sound, but about the intention and understanding behind it. When practitioners chant with full awareness of the meaning, which roughly translates to, I devote myself to the mystic law of the Lotus Sutra, they are engaging in a profound act of self-reflection and dedication. This engagement can lead to a sense of purpose and direction, which is crucial for mental health. Many people struggle with feelings of aimlessness or lack of meaning in their lives, which can contribute to depression and anxiety. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, with its focus on devotion to a higher purpose, can help address these feelings by providing a sense of connection to something greater than oneself. Moreover, the communal aspect of chanting in many Nichiren Buddhist communities can have significant positive effects on mental health. Social connection is a key factor in maintaining good mental health, and group chanting sessions provide an opportunity for practitioners to come together, share experiences, and support one another. This sense of community can be particularly beneficial for those struggling with feelings of isolation or loneliness. Dr. Jane Hurst, a psychologist who has studied the effects of Buddhist practices on mental health, notes, the combination of meditative focus, rhythmic vocalization, and social connection in group chanting sessions creates a powerful cocktail for improving mental well-being. She goes on to explain that these elements together can help reduce symptoms of depression, anxiety, and stress-related disorders. However, it's important to note that the effects of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo on mental health are not just anecdotal. In recent years, scientific studies have begun to explore the neurological impacts of this practice. While research specifically on Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is still limited, studies on similar meditative practices have shown promising results. For instance, neuroimaging studies have demonstrated that regular meditation can lead to changes in brain structure and function. These changes are often associated with improvements in emotional regulation, attention, and stress response. Given the meditative nature of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo chanting, it's reasonable to infer that similar benefits might be observed in long-term practitioners. One area where chanting seems to have a particularly strong impact is in stress reduction. The rhythmic nature of the chant, combined with controlled breathing, can trigger the body's relaxation response. 
This physiological state is characterized by decreased heart rate, lower blood pressure, and reduced cortisol levels, all of which contribute to a sense of calm and well-being. Daisaku Ikeda explains this effect. Through the rhythm of this powerful chant, we can tap into our inner strength and wisdom, finding the resources within ourselves to face life's challenges with courage and optimism. This perspective highlights how the practice is not just about achieving a temporary state of relaxation, but about cultivating a more resilient and positive mindset overall. This cultivation of resilience is particularly relevant in the context of mental health. Many mental health issues, such as depression and anxiety, are characterized by negative thought patterns and a diminished sense of self-efficacy. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, with its emphasis on personal empowerment and the innate Buddha nature within all beings, can help counteract these negative tendencies. Nichiren wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life, and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This teaching encourages practitioners to develop emotional resilience, accepting both positive and negative experiences as part of life while maintaining their practice. This approach can be particularly beneficial for those dealing with mood disorders or struggles with emotional regulation. Furthermore, the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is often accompanied by a process of setting goals and taking action towards them. This proactive approach to life, known as human revolution, in Nichiren Buddhism, can have significant positive effects on mental health. By encouraging practitioners to actively work towards personal growth and positive change, it can help combat feelings of helplessness or lack of control that often accompany mental health issues. Dr. Mark Epstein, a psychiatrist and Buddhist practitioner, notes, the combination of meditative practice and active engagement with one's life goals that we see in Nichiren Buddhism can be a powerful tool for improving mental health. It provides both the calm centeredness of meditation and the sense of purpose and progress that comes from working towards meaningful objectives. However, it's crucial to understand that while chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can be a powerful tool for improving mental health, it is not a substitute for professional mental health care when needed. Rather, it should be seen as a complementary practice that can work alongside other treatments and therapies. In fact, Many practitioners find that the insights gained through their chanting practice can enhance the effectiveness of other forms of therapy. The increased self-awareness and emotional regulation that often result from regular chanting can make it easier for individuals to engage productively in cognitive behavioral therapy, for example. It's also worth noting that the effects of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo on mental health are not instantaneous. Like any meditative or spiritual practice, it requires consistency and patience. Nichiren emphasized this point, writing, exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study. Without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. You must not only persevere yourself, you must also teach others. This advice underscores the importance of both regular practice and ongoing learning in the pursuit of mental and spiritual well-being. It suggests that the benefits of chanting accumulate over time, as the practitioner deepens their understanding and commitment to the practice. The chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo appears to have multifaceted effects on mental health. Through its meditative qualities, it can reduce stress and promote relaxation. Its repetitive nature can help calm the mind and break negative thought patterns. The philosophical underpinnings of the practice encourage resilience, self-empowerment, and a positive outlook on life. The communal aspect of group chanting provides social support and connection. And the goal-setting and personal development aspects of the broader Nichiren Buddhist practice can give practitioners a sense of purpose and direction. While more research is needed to fully understand the neurological and psychological mechanisms at play, the experiences of countless practitioners over centuries suggest that this practice can be a powerful tool for maintaining and improving mental health. As with any spiritual or meditative practice, the key lies in consistent, sincere engagement, coupled with an open mind and a willingness to grow and change. Nichiren's words serve as a fitting conclusion to this exploration, 
when you chant Mioho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Mioho Renge Kyo is your life itself. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of the practice, not just as a ritual or a temporary escape from life's challenges, but as a fundamental approach to living that can transform one's entire mental and emotional landscape. As we delve deeper into the effects of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo on mental health, it's important to consider the holistic nature of this practice. While the chanting itself is central, its impact on mental well being extends beyond the moments spent in active recitation. One of the key aspects of this practice is its potential to shift one's perspective on life's challenges. Nichiren taught that the essence of the Lotus Sutra, encapsulated in Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, reveals the inherent Buddha nature in all beings and phenomena. This worldview can profoundly affect how practitioners perceive and respond to stress, adversity, and personal struggles. Daisaku Ikeda elucidates this point. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we are not merely repeating a phrase, but calling forth our highest potential and the positive forces of the universe. This shift in perspective, from seeing oneself as a victim of circumstances to recognizing one's innate power to affect change, can be transformative for mental health. For individuals grappling with anxiety or depression, this change in outlook can be particularly impactful. These conditions often involve feelings of powerlessness and a negative self-image. The practice of chanting, with its emphasis on the inherent Buddha nature within all beings, directly challenges these harmful beliefs. It encourages practitioners to view themselves and their capabilities in a more positive light. Dr. Clark Strand, a writer and former Zen Buddhist monk who later embraced Nichiren Buddhism, shares his experience. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo gave me a way to engage with my mind that was both active and meditative. It allowed me to confront my anxieties and insecurities while simultaneously connecting with a deeper sense of self. This dual action of confrontation and connection illustrates how the practice can serve as a powerful tool for self reflection and personal growth. The rhythm and vibration of the chant itself also play a role in its effects on mental health. Some practitioners report feeling a physical sensation of calm or energy spreading through their body as they chant. While this may seem subjective, there is scientific basis for the idea that vocalization can impact our physical and mental state. Research in the field of neuroscience has shown that rhythmic vocalizations can stimulate the vagus nerve, which plays a crucial role in regulating our autonomic nervous system. Stimulation of this nerve has been linked to reduced anxiety, improved mood, and even enhanced cognitive function. While these studies weren't specifically focused on Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, they suggest a potential physiological mechanism for the calming effects many practitioners report. Moreover, the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo often involves the use of prayer beads, or juzu. The tactile sensation of moving the beads through one's fingers can serve as an additional focus point, enhancing the meditative aspect of the practice. This multisensory engagement, auditory, vocal, and tactile, may contribute to the practice's effectiveness in promoting mental calm and focus. Another important aspect to consider is the role of faith and belief in the practice's effects on mental health. While the physiological and psychological mechanisms we've discussed play a significant role, the power of belief shouldn't be underestimated. The placebo effect is a well-documented phenomenon in medical science, where a person's belief in a treatment can lead to real improvements in their condition. In the context of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, a practitioner's faith in the efficacy of the practice may enhance its positive effects on their mental health. This doesn't diminish the value of the practice. Rather, it highlights the powerful interaction between mind and body in promoting well-being. Nichiren himself emphasized the importance of faith, writing, the stronger one's faith, the greater the protection of the gods. While this statement might be interpreted literally by some, it can also be understood as an acknowledgement of the power of sincere belief and dedication in affecting personal transformation. It's also worth noting that the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is often accompanied by a study of Buddhist principles and philosophy. 
This intellectual engagement can provide practitioners with new tools for understanding and managing their mental health. Buddhist concepts such as impermanence, non-attachment, and the interdependence of all things can offer fresh perspectives on dealing with emotional pain and life's challenges. Dr. Polly Young Eisendrath, a Jungian psychoanalyst and practitioner of Buddhism, notes, the combination of meditative practice and philosophical study found in many Buddhist traditions, including Nichiren Buddhism, can provide a robust framework for maintaining mental health and fostering personal growth. As we consider the myriad ways in which chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can impact mental health, it's important to recognize that individual experiences may vary. Some practitioners report dramatic, life changing effects, while others may notice more subtle shifts in their mood and outlook over time. This variability is natural and doesn't negate the potential benefits of the practice. In conclusion, the chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo appears to offer a multifaceted approach to supporting mental health. Through its meditative qualities, it can promote relaxation and stress reduction. Its philosophical underpinnings encourage a positive self image and resilience in the face of life's challenges. The physical act of chanting may have direct physiological effects that support emotional well being. And the broader practice, including study and community engagement, provides a holistic framework for personal growth and mental health maintenance. As with any practice aimed at improving mental health, consistency and sincere engagement are key. The full benefits of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo are likely to unfold over time, as practitioners deepen their understanding and strengthen their faith. While it should not be seen as a replacement for professional mental health care when needed, for many, this practice serves as a powerful tool for maintaining emotional balance, fostering personal growth, and cultivating a positive approach to life's challenges.